if you're having problems with your circular saw, it's quite easy to open it up and diagnose the issue. Today we'll show you the simple steps in doing just that. To disassemble a circular saw, we'll be using the following tools. We'll be using two magnetic part trays, one set of extra long bits, a multi-bit screwdriver, magnetic pickup, and needle nose pliers. The first step is removing power. In this case, it's a corded, so we've removed the cord. Ensure we don't have any blades on. And that's just so we don't constantly get the blade stuck into either our hand or into our table. And then we can start disassembly. Circular saws do have multiple covers, just like with drills. The first cover at the end of the motor gives us access to the brushes. And we'll use our magnetic pickups to remove each screw, storing them in our parts tray. Once we have our screws out, we can remove this cover, which gives us access to our brushes. The brushes simply pull out, they are spring-loaded, and merely a block of carbon that presses inside to transfer electricity to each set of coils to create our electric motor. We'll merely put the brush back in place and continue on with our disassembly. Our next portion to disassemble is for our switch and our main power coming in. To do that, we'll continue doing the same process. Remove the screw. We'll back each one off just partially. We can then grab our handle very slowly, pull up onto it so we can look inside, which will give us access to the main power cord coming in, our switch, as well as leads going in to the motor. Our next step is to remove the four screws holding the motor enclosure on. It's always good to have a quick look inside each slot to determine what kind of screwdriver and screw bit you need. In this case, we need two different bits. We'll start by backing off each screw. Once we have each one backed off a little bit, we'll double check to make sure we have everything loose, nice even spacing all around, which allows us to do the final removal. Simply use our magnetic pickup to take each screw out and put it into our tray, paying close attention to maintaining a consistent order. At this point, we're ready to pull the motor out and set it aside. Do any of your tools need a repair? Visit us at ereplacementparts.com and easily find the parts you need and have them shipped right to your door.